Hey, what's going on? It's Boss Brit the Most Lit. What's up? It's your girl DJ Excel. And this is the No Homo Show. Where everything we talk about is homo as f. Gay, 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 gay. Brit, do you want to tell our viewers something? What? What, what you're going saying? through right now? Oh no, <laughs> she's the ops. <laughs> she the police, y'all. Hey, I'm on the police. We just said our intro. Why she trying to sit on me already? We didn't even say how you doing. <laughs> this bitch said, "Gay, gay, gay, gay." You want to tell them how you feeling right now, bro? Good. Cause she's like, come on, we gotta hurry up because I'm going. Y'all see how be doing me, man? Nah, I did take an edible though. I'm definitely feeling great. I'm on this cloud literally right now. This cloud right here, bitch. <laughs> she gorgeous. <laughs> she gorgeous. <laughs> Yo, no, she was good, literally though. sitting here singing three songs. Like she mixed it in on her in her head and was singing them. Like it was flowing. A whole jukebox. Yeah. Shout out to me, man. Okay. Baby. Hey, y'all, welcome back to the No Homo Show, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment. And big shout out to all our listeners. If you haven't tuned into our us on Apple Music or our Apple Podcast, Spotify Podcast, you can now check us out. You know, you always say Apple Music because we gonna drop a little. It's, it's giving like it's giving manifesting. It's giving. Like, all right, I'm your DJ. Hey, y'all know Brick. Got, y'all know Brick got a single out there. Go go on Apple Music and look it up. Is it on Apple? Yeah, Music? it's very you know immature. You know, it was, uh, it's called Big Dot. It was actually you know kind of popping in Atlanta streets. You know, what I'm saying dance. it was giving little Big dance, little little dance. Big Dot. You know what I'm saying I made it during the pandemic. Yeah, Big Dot was like Big Dot was like period. Pandemic, yeah. Period, yeah. right? Yeah. Big dot, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Shout out to Jay Lee got Juice. She pulled up on me. We had the yeah. little studio in the crib. Should we bring it back? The pandemic? No. Because that's the only way the music happened. Okay. I don't know if I would have time to record a song. This no, way. facts, because you were supposed to do a music video on everything. What I happened was, to that? It got busy. <laughs> you failed as an artist, bro. Is it too late? No. Yeah, no. yeah. I no. think. I no, think we, we got people that don't even know about the song. Exactly. I could really it. record it again. Nah, let's do a Make drill. It even better. Let's do a drill record. Yeah. <laughs> you go. <laughs> I be weak every time you do that dance. You be like, I can't you do pull it your shoulder shit. up so it look like you ain't got no neck. Y'all, why? <laughs> I know you're not talking. Every time you do your little uh, wand dance, you I'm like, it got like. <laughs> It's getting all the way up here. It's getting all the way up there. Oh my God, y'all. Hey, y'all, we solo today, so I hope y'all enjoy the yeah. vibes, the episode. Yeah. Merch. Make sure y'all go get it. It's out. Yo, we appreciate all y'all support. We actually seen up. people out with I Prefer Coochie shirts on. Nah, that that's shit, so dope. That's dope as hell. Like, y'all been showing mad love, so we really appreciate it. We're going to keep going up for y'all. New episodes, better yeah. episodes on the way. Yes, yes, we working. We ain't yeah. stopping. What's up, ladies? We are headed to Cancun, Mexico for my dog, Boss Brit's birthday. And a whole lesbian takeover in Cancun. We want to invite y'all out on vacation with us, and we also will be having a live No Homo show. For more information, make sure you go to mostlitweekend.com because we outside. Listen, y'all, we know it's starting to get cold, so we need y'all to join us on vacation. Yeah, we going to Cancun. For Most Lit Weekend, and it's also Yay. Boss Brit's birthday weekend, so you know we gotta get super, super, super the most lit you could get. Yeah, shout out my Aquarius, y'all. Look, I want y'all to meet us out there. We staying at a resort. It's gonna be all inclusive. <laughs> that means everything is included, your drinks, your food, all that, and then we have a dope lineup on top of that that's all included with the packages, y'all. So make sure y'all meet us out in Cancun. Like, you're gonna have FOMO. Yeah. Like, y'all gonna be mad when y'all see us lit on a boat on a goddamn at the No Homo Show live because we're going live out there, right? We got live No Homo Show, y'all, in Cancun. Our first one, that's a big ass way to kick it off. And then that's 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 the first of many, but that's yeah. a big ass way to yeah, kick we it got off. A whole... And y'all just gonna be partying with us all weekend, doing different things. We got the whole weekend lineup, and it's gonna be a dope group of people. So even if you're just coming by yourself or you and another person, mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be all of us, and it's it's not gonna be like dumb crowd. Like we're gonna be doing our own thing, and it's gonna be a lot of lesbians there. We're international with it. Yeah. Imagine getting some international pussy. Mm. Oh, international pussy sound good, don't it? Start talking to you in Spanish, <laughs> okay? <laughs> say something real quick. <laughs> mommy, mommy, <laughs> get tu okay, hace? Okay. How you say pussy in Spanish? Somebody comment, let me know. <laughs> All right, so. I ain't gonna stop saying it once y'all tell me. <laughs> no, because the way I grew up, my mom would call it something that boom, I. Boom, boom. No, that I never knew it was Spanish. I never knew Anybody it was Spanish. Anybody know Spanish? You, no, you, because you know Spanish, right? <laughs> you don't? 
Oh, fuck. I thought you had Spanish in yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. But anyway, as a kid, and it's not pussy, it's like mm. what your mom would say to you as a kid to clean your... What is it? I want to know. So it was Toto. Oh, yeah. Toto. 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 So, but the thing is, growing up, there's certain things my mom would say to me in Spanish. Like, she'd be like, get the savana. A savana is a sheep. But when you're talking to a kid, I didn't even know you were speaking in Spanish. Yeah. So I thought like... That's what it's called. It's a, Yeah, it's a savana, or that's my Toto. So you grew up talking about <laughs> my toto? No, no. So actually, no. Why? I never heard. But I know she never What'd said chocha to me. But chocha. but one time, like my sister did go to like somebody's house for a sleepover. I was like, can I get savana? And the girl was like, what? What do you want? And she was like, a savana. <laughs> and the girl was like, what are you talking about? So it was it was little words that like we grew up on on some Spanish shit that we just it's crazy to think about like you don't even know it's Spanish. That's just, hilarious, yeah. yo. But I don't know. Yeah, yo soy Boricua, mami. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, y'all? I'm international. I'm going to Cancun speaking Spanish. I'm like, mira, mami, dame tu toto. Man, this girl know like 20 Spanish words. If it came down to needing a translator, I would not ask Excel. Yeah, it's All right. Been, she wow. can't speak fluent. She judging wow. you. Judging the fuck out of me. <laughs> you from New York, you instantly, I don't care if you black, Spanish, white, you should know Spanish. I feel like all New Yorkers should know Patois and Spanish. Oh, Slick. She's a black girl, she speaks. No, there's so many like black women yeah. in, in uh New York that you got to. You mm -hmm. it's crazy. That's why I love up north culture. Like it's not that much diversity out here, you know what I'm saying? But yes, yeah, it's, it's either black or white out here, yeah. and you throw me in there, <laughs> throw me in like a little, little seasoning. Like like I'm a little seasoning in your little batch, all right? The gay Spanish ass. <laughs> all right, not too much. All right, when you need me to translate and can't call. No, one thing I can say, the I can. Ricky Martin. All right, bitch. See, you be going too far with it. Why can't it be Jim Jones? All right, my bad. Okay. Jim Jones, this bitch is bullying. He's Spanish. He's Spanish. I know and black, I think. I think he's Ricky Spanish and black. Ricky Martin, that's, that's a good one, right? Daddy Yankee. We used to call Excel Daddy Yankee for a, a long time. <laughs> now, if I call him anybody black, I'm racist. Y'all know that, I right? Be? Who would I be, though? <laughs> just, to, just to see. Who would I be? The brat? <laughs> Why would you say the brat? How you mama, I told How? mama, I was like, I'm going to carry a baby. She said, oh, like what, the brat? <laughs> Yeah, bitch, I you would like that. You would have the you would have the Bulls jersey with the stomach. <laughs> the stomach <cut. laughs> Why she do that? Why she say the bread? <laughs> okay. Anyway, y'all, we get oh, so we... damn distracted with this pettiness. Damn, we and just the hookah. <laughs> it's the hookah for me. The no homo club. Welcome to the. Hey, no we got it. It actually do light up, so we should put our light under that we bitch. We should. How's my fucking lit? Literally. Want me to put it under there? I got it. Oh, my bag. Oh, I ain't got it in there, man. <laughs> It's all good. Yeah. All right. Next time. Yeah. So you want to get into it? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and let them know what we're talking about today. Do you remember? What's that song called? What? I, first time. It ain't nothing like it your first time. time. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you I can blow your mind. Yeah. Who How? made that? Sounds so It's on. Um, it's the dude from a group. Oh, who made that song? Cause they used to um, be my shit. Um, it ain't Marcus Houston. Yes, it is. I think he made that one. First time. Hold up. Let me. Hold on. Yeah, he made that one. First time, Marcus Houston. Uh, it might I be think. Him. Or is it like Pleasure P? It's it is somebody that it's was It's Marcus in a group. Houston. It might have been. Yes. IMX. Oh, that was actually the whole group that made that song. Or no, it was Marcus Houston. Sorry, he's okay. from IMX. Okay. Yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That yeah. was a bop though. Yeah. Back in the day, young as hell talking about. <laughs> <laughs> on your MySpace page, young as hell. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, so we talking about our first time in a lot of things, okay? And we're going to just reminisce, I guess. Because, okay, cool. girl, I mean, it's only right to talk about, I know so, so many times we talked about like, oh, we like, we looked at little, like when we were a little girl, we would look at a girl, but do you remember your first time, like actually liking a girl? like? It being like, yeah, I do. I was young. I was like three. Yeah, see, I'm like, what age? Being, <laughs> I was like three, and she was my neighbor. And and now that I think about it, it was very inappropriate because we used to be doing gay shit. Maybe First I was of like all, four three. I had to be like between three and six, and they had to be between like 
10 and 12. Now she was grown? It, it was, yeah, it was inappropriate. Yeah. What were you doing? Humping. <laughs> Whole lot of humping, boy. Strong. Coochie bone strong nowadays. <laughs> I it ain't funny because it's fucked up because of the age gap. No. And then like, but I don't, I don't think I was, I had to be like, when I lived on that street, I was like four, between four and six. Were you, four. Pers all right, so I don't want to laugh at, I'm laughing at it. Because it's of crazy. Of what you're saying. Yeah, Not yeah. like, because when you're an adult and you're thinking about a four-year-old and yeah. a 10-year-old, that sound crazy. Sound crazy. Okay, so I'm not, don't get, don't get it's it. It's dark humor up. for sure. Yeah, it's, it's dark It's like humor. the irony of it. Yeah, because like, you over there humping. But the, were you the one per... <laughs> Bitch, I don't remember that. Well, Were you the one pursuing? I don't remember that well. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But because I'm, we don't want. Definitely was playing house. Definitely was playing house. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. So I know, like, I have like flashbacks in my head, yeah. right? Of like. That's how it'd be like. Yeah. Look. But I don't. All right. Like doing little fresh shit as a kid with uh, my babysitter's daughter. Fresh shit. Fresh shit. Like being fresh. Like being too grown. Fresh shit. That's some up yeah, shit. No, like you being fresh. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I ain't never. Yeah, said like stop fresh. being fresh with them boys. Yeah. Getting fast. Fresh. Yeah. Does it mean do it mean the same thing as fast though? Yeah. Like fresh. Stop being fast. So yeah. we say fast. Okay. In the see, Midwest. See what I'm learning. So on, on this show, it'd be, a, it be a lot of things that like I don't realize that's just some up north shit. So Down, anyway. Downy link. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. All right. So, but outside of that, because it's not like I think that was just some kid shit. Mm. My first time like really talking to a girl, I got set up. I ain't gonna lie. As a I kid? didn't. Even, yeah. No, I wasn't a kid. I probably okay. was, well. I probably was like fourteen. I probably was fourteen. Your first interaction with a girl was at fourteen. Like you never used to hump in the closet. No, that's or... what I'm saying. I was doing like yes. I remember like little flashbacks of that. But I'm talking about when you really like somebody. See, you bitch, you was in love at three. I wasn't See? in love, but I definitely remember like I used to be like, where they at? When you was in elementary, no curses on girls. No, I, first of all, let's be honest. A lot of people, a lot of kids, unless they was being fresh, you was just being a kid in fucking elementary school. Damn, I was being bad. For real, like you were being a kid. So I, I was always a tomboy, but I didn't know I was gay. That's what people got fucked up because oh. because you dress like this. No, I ain't know I was gay. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, what, I, what you like? Yeah. yeah. So, so my first real time was like, it was like eighth grade. I was sit. my one friend D was gay and she was, we was sitting alone and she was on this side. No, she was in the middle and this girl that liked me was on the other side. Yeah. And D, the girl, this is childish y'all, first of all. <laughs> the girl like whispering to D like, tell, tell her I said, what's up? Ooh, so D whispering, D whispering to me and I'm like, bro, I don't know, like what? <laughs> But that was the first time that it came into my mind as like, oh, this could be a possibility because I don't know. Oh. I ain't know. It wasn't like I just knew I was gay. Yeah. But, but you I, like boys. I had she like little. Boys. I had, <laughs> like I had little boyfriends because I thought that's what you were supposed to do. But we ain't never do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I probably was a boring ass girlfriend. <laughs> You're trying to play sports. I was bitch. playing You're basketball. Play. Like the one boy I like, I remember kid. we was playing ball all the time. So anyway. Come on, loving basketball. Monica. No, I Monica. Think, I think I was really trying I'm to be a ball player. Yeah. If anybody knows what that means, it's you. I took the hold of Burger King. Yeah. <laughs> Not just no. Hey, no. that's my shit. No. I took that hold of Burger King. I love loving basketball. Look, you did that good. You snapped yeah, into a bitch, hey, okay? That's my movie, y'all. That's my movie, too. Yeah, so, that's crazy, but, though. Yeah, but anyway, so I told D, this is how I got set up, because yeah. I told D, I was like, I don't know. D told her, I said, yeah, like, what's up? <laughs> so then, ever, ever since then, the girl was pursuing me, but I ain't gonna yeah. lie, the girl was ugly, y'all. Damn. She was ugly, okay. but, but let me tell you, <laughs> when, you're, when you're just figuring out, you... I, I don't want to put this on everybody because yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't going to say y'all all day <laughs> ugly bitches because I did, all right? <laughs> but you just be like, oh, so you down? Because right. I'm nervous to even bring it up to anybody. <laughs> so you down? But I ain't do nothing with her. I ain't even kiss her or nothing. Yeah. But that was the first time. And I was like in, yeah, like eighth grade. So that's also when you got like turned out, you would say? That's when I was started exploring. Yeah, but like I said, yeah. that girl, I was fake with her for three months, but we ain't kiss nothing y'all yeah. i was really like scared yeah i was scared but that was when it opened up my eyes to like yeah. oh this is a possibility i don't think it really 
Dawn on me. It's weird. Okay, so on that point, from that perspective. Yeah, not being fresh. I was, bro. I was like 14, too. And it was a girl that I worked with at Kings Island. I think I said this before. Yeah. Kings Island was is an amusement park in Ohio, so Cincinnati. It was in Mason, Ohio. But the rumor was, if you work there, you're going to go gay. That's Swear true. to God, that was the rumor. And I was like, why the fuck they keep saying that dumb shit? And sure enough, I got turned out at that bitch. Was the girl your age? And I was 14. She was a senior. So oh, she so was she like 17, 17, 18. Oh, you like them all. But I did, I did pursue her though too. Yeah. Cause I was very curious. I'm like, cause she was super pretty. I'm like, I'm like, Excel, you know, I had a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My person was saying, I'm like, <laughs> but I was like, damn, like you super pretty. Like you gay? Like that is, I don't know what, you know, why I just couldn't believe like, I think some people do be saying that, like, remember when people used to be like, you too cute to be gay? Yeah, fuck that. That's what it was given. I was like, yeah. you gay? Like, so I was like, yo, I'm about to go ahead and bag that bitch. Yeah, yeah, I was like 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bag that thing. Shout out to her. Growing up, we used to be like, you too cute to suck dick. Too cute <laughs> to suck dick? Hey, listen. I think I heard that too before. Yeah, <laughs> too cute to too suck, cute dick. suck dick. You ain't never too cute to suck dick or eat pussy. You ain't, because now you want a bad bitch sucking your dick, right? What? <laughs> you got to be the baddest of the baddest. <laughs> You ain't too cute at all. <laughs> Suck that. <laughs> Suck I my strap. You. Oh my God. I always go too far, man. You all right. Too far. All Wait. right, I got one. Let's talk about first time going to a gay club. I know exactly what this is at. Legendary. <laughs> Legendary. Anybody that knows Paradox in Baltimore was a legendary gay club. Yeah. And side note, down the line, I ended up DJing there. So they had a huge gay night. I think it was every third Saturday mm -hmm. or every third Friday. But anyway, the dope thing about the Paradox, right, is that you only had, you had to be 16, but they didn't have no limit. 16? 16 and over, and it was bring your own bottle for anybody over 21. Damn. So if, if your folks, if your folks <laughs> was 21, they bring a bottle, you going in. Yo, young ass you know what I mean? Drunk as hell. Yo, I don't even think I was drinking at first. Shit, yeah. I was just lit. Yeah. I used to look at people like, why do you got to drink to have fun? <laughs> <laughs> I used to be that guy. I used guy. to hear people say that. Yeah, <laughs> I used to be that guy. But the crazy thing is, so Baltimore just has a huge gay culture out there. Yeah. And like, Paradox was to 6 a.m., bro. I'm 16. I got a car. My dad gave me a car for my uh, birthday. Hey. I believe he did. Maybe. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. He ain't give me I a had car. A car at 16. He ain't give me a car till I went to college. I don't know how I got up there, but I'll tell you one thing. I got the fucking Paradox in Baltimore. It was like an hour, 15 minute drive. Oh, and you travel to go yeah, there too as well. Bitch, I'm traveling to the pussy. Yeah. All right. I just, I just found I out. I'm to go to that gay I just, I just found out I'm gay, yeah. bitch. I'm now outside. I used to uh, drive to Columbus, and that was two hours. Y'all want to know the crazy thing? Yeah. Probably like, probably when I was like around 18, because this was still the number one club. Me and my sister went, but like I said, my sister five years younger than me, but she was gay early, y'all, all right? <laughs> so the crazy thing is, so what we would do is I would go in with my, I would go in, Yeah. Uh, our friends would go, uh, come with me, and then he would come out and give my sister my ID, right? <laughs> and then the security, one time the security was like, the security was like, yo, I, I think I just seen this girl in there, and my sister was like, no, nah, that's my twin. That's my twin, right? I don't cry, so then, yeah. so then she was like, "Yo, tell tell her to come in, cause telling our friend to get me." So I mm. come in, and she's like, "We twins, right?" I'm like, "Yeah." And and um, the lady was just like, "Oh yeah, I see you, just the chubbier one, right?" <laughs> and, and 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 she got in. Yo, and, why would she say that? Yeah, yeah. And that's facts, though. Yeah. Like no shade, but like y'all do look dead on yeah. each other. You be just like a little bit more husky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's funny as hell. So, so she got in, but that bitch was like 13. Hey, yeah, that's yeah. fucking hilarious. Yeah. Not Tia and Tamara, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what, we finessed it, bro. I don't know, we finessed yeah. it, but literally I remember that to this day, but. Did you get any twerks, any numbers? So this is what I was saying, and I didn't want, this is what I said on one of our episodes, and it wasn't bashing nothing, tall women or nothing like that. Yeah. But I come from Baltimore Paradox days where the trans men mm -hmm. or trans women mm -hmm. wouldn't let you know they was trans women. The only way I could tell is because they was taller than me. So I never danced with nobody taller than me. Oh. But 
no disrespect to this day i i don't i wouldn't want a woman taller than me i know you you would be shit out of no luck options, you know what i'm saying i'm a short nigga i gotta climb them trees but, so i ain't gonna have but to so go <laughs> so but the crazy thing is like the paradox it kind of was like it was all one well it was a couple of rooms but the main room a lot of the dudes was on the left and all the women was on the right mm. the crazy thing is bro i walked around that bitch 10 times trying to see who's in there like it just was like an amazing yeah <laughs> all these gay people gay, just gay because gay. we're so used to it now especially because of yeah. like what we do but like even from small cities when they come to atlanta pride i know it's like bro My there's boy. beautiful so many gay lesbians women. Yeah. all in one space well, well, where well, you ain't got to guess and walk up to nobody and be like are you gay like no if they hear it hit different they, you can especially, talk to them. especially if you like a stud if you're a fam and you walk you can see and you're attracted to studs like you could be like all right that's a stud yeah. you know what i'm saying but it's harder on us and it's like i'm not i've I was so respectful. I didn't even want to approach you yeah. to find out if you were straight. Such a yeah. I, I, don't, I don't have any flowers on me. What do I say? <laughs> Ugly ass. <laughs> nah, I ain't want no straight bitch, bruh. I, I love to walk into place, but like, I know I could pull me a baddie. So, okay, like, period. all these I got to choose from? Look, look. <laughs> For me? <laughs> Y'all, okay. And then I ain't gonna lie, Baltimore kind of like Atlanta. Yeah. I was the only. Spirit, yo, they was they was all the girls pulling my hair. Off, me and my ah. sister, it was crazy. They your ass. Like people don't touch my hair nowadays. No, they was touching my hair. They yeah. was like shocked because Baltimore is very like a lot of black people. You know what I'm saying? And I came. I can't. They yeah. I was hot. Yeah. I was hot. They're like come here, yeah. little Spanish ass. Yeah. Come here, I'm looking for a little Spanish, little gay yeah. little thing. Come on over here. That's one reason I ain't moved to L. A. Because I was just blending out in L. A. Look no, out here. I was like, let me go to Atlanta. They ain't see. Everybody remember me. If you met me, you remember like the Spanish shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> All week. All right. So I definitely remember my first time going to a gay club. Mine kind of sad, but it was like. <laughs> It was a really good fucking night. Like I remember what I had on and everything. I had on like the uh, Wiz. This one Wiz Khalifa was out. Remember when Wiz Khalifa had everybody wearing tank tops and like the cargo shorts mm -hmm. and the snapbacks. You know what I'm saying? I had on my little tank top, my little cargo Your shorts. Your bangs was yeah. out. I had the bangs out. Yeah. I had the green G Shock on. Y'all you know saying? Okay. And, um, you it was had called, money, huh? Hey, I, I was trying to do my little thing. You know what I'm saying? I work in the Kings Island. Still had that that check. You heard? Like. <laughs> It was called uh, the bank. Oh, I had a bang, like literally like a Chinese bang. Yeah, she had this. Yeah. <laughs> she said, oh, shit. I'll, I'll put a picture here. Put a picture here with the bang. We're going to show y'all. My bang was always crispy, though. That was one thing about me. Bray it's, had the flat arts. Hey, the shit was given. I'm about to trim it every time I go out. <laughs> you no was, extra little strings. Bitch, you it was, was given. You, you might cut your bang. finger on that bitch. You heard? I had that bang for many years. Hey, so I know one time my sister cut her bangs herself yeah. and she cut too crooked. short and then when it dried, that bitch just she like just it. up at the top. <laughs> hey, she, hey, she looked like a bird for like three hey, months, bro. Week. Nah, because it take a little time to grow back. <laughs> nah, I made sure my bang was always. So you know I ain't lying. Look. It was intact. That thing was bumped at the end and everything. I was bad, bitch. You heard? Shout out to everybody who cut their bangs too short. Yeah. I but I had me my little gay crew, you know what I'm saying? We went to uh, First Saturdays. That's what it was called. What was shout it called? Out First Saturdays. Okay. Uh, shout out to Kim, you know what I'm saying? She actually was from, was Kim from Dayton? I think she was from Dayton or, Cle or uh, Columbus, but she did parties in Cincinnati, Columbus, and Dayton. Like, she, I really used to, like, oh, she learn a over. lot from her. Yeah, like, she was one of the OGs. So, like, we like, let's go to our first little gay club. Like, y'all said, we 18. Like, let's go outside. Like, bought some little bottle. Had a big-ass bottle of Grey Goose. Y'all, I used to love Oh, you Grey brought Goose. it in or you bought it? No, nah, I bought one. Like, I had somebody buy it for me, like a pregame type shit. Oh, okay. And we got lit. I was with my friend Fresh. And freaky, you know what I'm saying? One of my first like two gay fresh and freaky. Studs. <laughs> was studs. Hey, I remember that night, bro. Like you said, it was just like like ah. it was just gay shit everywhere. I'm going up behind bitches. I'm on to the next bitch. I'm just going, I'm just out that bitch. I'm getting numbers. I'm like, this shit is fun as fuck, bro. Yeah. Fuck up though. Look. So we lead a club. We go to White Castle, right? That's the last thing I remember. Going to White Castle. Mind you, I'm fucked up. And when you're yeah, young, bro, you I'm drink. 18. When you're young, you drink. You don't stop drinking till you're already drunk. Bruh, I am 18 drinking a whole bottle of Grey Goose. And I was the driver. Oh, no. Acting fucking crazy, bro. So don't drink and drive, y'all. <laughs> 
for very, real. Because I could have lost my life this this night for real. Yeah. So we go to White Castle. I dropped them off on the west side. I gotta go back home. I fell asleep behind the wheel. You passed out, I bitch. I fell asleep behind the wheel, and I just remember waking up, and all I heard was like, boom. And then mm. I was like, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? Like, cause I clear, I clearly saw like I hit something. I don't know, to this day, I don't know what I hit. A pole, a car, I don't know what I hit. I hope it wasn't a person. Cause I don't know to this day, I don't know what I hit. But my face was leaking. I had mm. blood. I still got the mark on my forehead, mm. which is actually why I wore the bang for so long. Because after that, it got, it was like really worse than what it looked like now. Mm. I was very self-conscious, bro. Did you have I to get asleep. stitches? I didn't have to get stitches, thank God. My hair print was literally in the windshield though. Like you that could literally, to my dad. you could see the bubble. Like, did you have hair stuck in it? Yeah, like yep. the shit was bad, bro. Yeah. Like, so I'm, I'm trying to drive. It's my grandma car. I'm trying to drive. Like, I'm panicking. I, ain't, I ain't even calling now. Why I ain't stop? Like, I'm trying oh. to keep driving this shit. So yeah. it broke down on the highway. The car. The car broke down on the highway, oh, and I was by myself. Yeah, oh. and um, somebody pulled over. And they called 911, and I don't I don't remember too much from that point, but I know I ended up telling them like somebody hit me. It was like a hit and run. So and I told them my grandma's car, y'all. Yeah, that shit was. So sad. hold up, they didn't they didn't test you or nothing? I went to the doctor on my own, but they didn't even take oh. me to the hospital. I was like, well, that's kind of a blessing. Yeah, kind but of. I probably should have went. You know what I'm saying to make sure I ain't had like no concussion or nothing like that, because I literally hit like that shit. That's why you a little off. That might be why I'm a little <laughs> off, bitch. <laughs> Fucking great goose. <laughs> got you loose. Hey, got me loose. Damn, well, thank God. No, you thank God. It. Like, I be looking and back on that moment a lot. Like, bro, like, you you, you got spared. Know. You know what I'm saying? No, for real, because you could have died. Bro, I know people that's been in accidents like that and then make it. Yeah. So, like, yes. I really be thinking about that a lot. Like, and the bro, fact that you kept trying to go yeah, to. Purpose. I have yeah. a purpose, yeah. yeah. That was, like, when I took shrooms for the first time. Yeah. Oh out of nowhere was the first time I ever thought about that situation and mm. was like, bro, you could have died that night. Because yeah. before that, I never was like, yo, you could have died. I never thought that. But like when I was on those shows, because like shows make you think about shit on like yeah. a different level. So out of nowhere, I was in the shower and I just started crying like, bro, you could have died. And I wasn't even thinking about it, bro. It just came out of, out of nowhere. So That's like, I'm afraid shrooms. I got trauma. I don't hey, want to bring that shit shrooms up. Make, but those psychedelics though, yeah, they help you figure shit out. You know what I'm saying? And, and half the time, is gonna bring up some trauma and some yeah. shit, but you either gonna be like grateful that you made it from that place or like, most of the time you're gonna be grateful. Like even Jada said yeah. she took the psychedelics and before that she was suicidal. Mm -hmm. And then when she took it, whatever. What, Jada Pinkett? Jada Pinkett, yeah. Uh, you, you taking advice from Jada? <laughs> Shout out to Jada Pinkett Smith, man. I, use, I love Jada. I love and I'm set it off. Her. I love set it off, I'll tell you that. I'ma stick beside Jada, cause Will ain't innocent. Y'all know why she's thinking beside Jada, right? She not right in the head. That's why she's thinking beside Jada. I love Jada. All right, but Yeah, well, that night was fun, though. All in all. <laughs> Damn. It ended crazy, but it was fun. Yeah, bro. What did your grandmother say about her car? Yeah, what did your grandma say? My grandma say? literally just told her, like, it was a hit and run. So, I mean, it was total. It was nothing she really could say. She ain't beat your ass? She ain't beat my ass or nothing like that, no. Nah. <laughs> She, you got gangsta ground. She like, well, at least you survived. My mom. Yeah, I don't even know what the next car was after that. But yeah, shout out to my nanny. If you don't know that story. <laughs> yes, nanny. Shout out to my nanny. Oh, so you told ever, her. Ever. So you told her it was a hit and run. Yeah. So I don't even know if I ever said this story to her. She the whole the time, nanny is over there thinking my baby got hit and run. Like. Yeah. No, nanny. She <laughs> did that shit. She's sorry, nanny. Sorry, nanny. <laughs> That's Okay. <laughs> Do you remember your first time having like a sexual intercourse with a girl? Like it could have been like, you know, our first time giving a girl head. Mm. Oh, that was two years ago, huh? Like, oh, we can see. Cause we know you just strap them down until it's you a love blur. them. <laughs> I remember it, but I I don't remember like was I like. This tastes weird. I don't remember like that exactly, but it was at the Kings Island when I was gay as fuck. Shout out to Kings, Kings Island. Island. I ain't hey. never going to Kings Island. I ain't don't take your kids to Kings Island, y'all. Kings yo. Island had me lit, had me literally licking on the pussy, y'all. So now I remember that we went home after work. She was my <laughs> girlfriend, went to my grandma's house, my nanny. Mom, sorry, nanny. Nanny! Not only did she tow your car, she wet your bed sheets. I wonder if she heard me ever because like I used to be wild and 
But yeah, she spent the night and I told my grandma, this is my friend, of course. I ain't say that. We always girl. try to do that. I think she knew, but I think she I don't know. But yeah, I took her home. We tried to have sex. Or we did I don't remember it at all though. I don't yeah. remember like was I like, I like this or I don't like it. I don't Yeah. I don't remember. What about you? I actually really remember because <laughs> no, I, I really remember. No, because y'all, we was in boarding school, right? I talk about my boarding school a lot. Damn, I shouldn't say that. No, actually, the boarding school wasn't for bad kids. It was actually for underprivileged kids, but it was like the second richest school in the country. But, you know, they like gave me my scholarship. They paid for everything, all this. But anyway, mm. so this was, this was my girlfriend, and uh, we were about to go home for the summer. Mm. And my birthday's in June, right? So oh, you got we, that birthday for Yeah, me. nah, nah, so my <laughs> birthday's in June, so I was 15 turning 16, right? And, um, and we had like a basketball camp or something before going, right? So it was like right before my birthday, and we was in the locker room, and I was like, let me eat it before I leave for the summer. All I want for my birthday. Yeah. So I was like, let me eat it before I go home for the summer. So <laughs> I ate it in the locker room. Ow. Where? I ain't going to lie. She, On I, the we're, bitches we're, in the shower, where? No, not I need, in the shower. I need detail. Yeah, girl, it was in a locker room. No, we ain't, we not going to make it a whole romance because I <laughs> doubt it was anything like make that. Make the picture for us, Picasso. <laughs> no, I, I just remember it was in Pussy the locker Picasso. room. Picasso, come on. <laughs> I remember it was in the locker room. Definitely, she did not shave at all. But I think you had a mustache. I was turned. I was fifteen, so she probably was fifteen too. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie. Like sometimes when you're young, you don't know. Yeah. Like no, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? She yeah. ain't shaved, but I remember that because I was like, damn, this is the first time oh, she had to part that motherfucking grease it. <laughs> She and, put four yeah, corn rolls in yeah. this little back. Yeah, and um, <laughs> I don't think, I think this th this had to have been like before the game. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, but I, I do. No sweaty pussy. But I do think it wasn't like the most freshest. <laughs> but I do think she was like not right now because you yeah. know. But I was like, bitch, please. Now it's either now or next year. Oh, because you ain't gonna see her. Yeah, next year, yeah, because or the next school year. Yeah, so yeah. I was I was risking it all. I would have been so scared to get caught. Did y'all lock the door or anything? I, I feel like we had to have done something. Y'all gay. Y'all yeah. worry, no, worry about no camera but thing, nothing. But you wouldn't have cameras in the locker room. The thing true. is, oh, God, no. The true, thing is bad. about the school is they had cameras everywhere. Mm. But the locker room, of course, you can't have cameras in. So we was trying. It probably was like five minutes, y'all. Yeah. We and um the thing is with uh, our school is like. You have like grace periods to get somewhere, like even to get home after practice. Let's say you get off of practice by five, yeah. you gotta be home by five thirty. If not, where was you at? Right. It's, like a curfew it's, type of thing. Yeah, it's real weird. But anyway, yeah, that was my first time. It it was very strict because it's it's a school taking care of kids from kindergarten to twelfth grade. But it was like Pleasantville, like the grass had lines in it. Cameras in the tree, cameras everywhere. In the tree. Yeah, it was everywhere. It's <laughs> everywhere. But hey, drop the uh the wolf emoji if your first time that that pussy was wolf. And don't <laughs> drop lie. Drop the wolf emoji. Don't hey, lie. don't lie to us, man. We don't, all done been there. Yeah, because I feel like I ain't know right away that I had to like and I had an older sister, but she wouldn't tell me shit. Right. She'd be like, get out my face. Yeah. I don't think nobody ever told me to shave me. I thought I just felt like I had to get my <laughs> shit together. No, but the thing is, I that's crazy. In my boarding school, I did live with twelve other girls that we was all in high school. So like me, even as a freshman, I'll be living with twelfth graders and shit. So you learn from them like as sisters and shit. But I ain't know that shit right away. Obviously, the people she was with they ain't teach her nothing either. Yeah. And studs, I need to start getting waxes. Like yeah, I haven't got a wax yet, but I definitely take care of my shit. Get a wax. No, I get a wax, girl. She said she thinks studs. I'll be, be in the butterfly position and everything. I'll be like, get that shit. <laughs> We no, don't wanna be we men. Don't, we don't Studs wanna be don't men. Want to be men, okay? We have our no, me, we got Mama D in the building. I would think, I would think that's too feminine to No, hey, ain't clean too feminine coochie about is good shit. coochie. I, I, I learn yeah. That's a shirt. Clean coochie is good coochie. Write it down. Okay. <laughs> Yo! 
Yo, we are at Starship right now, y'all. Listen, they have anything you need for inside the bedroom, plus more stuff you can't even think about. Make sure y'all go to the website. Yes, yes, y'all get 15% off with our code No Homo Show at shopstarship.com. No Homo Show shopstarship.com go run it up y'all listen if you're in atlanta stop by their store because it's crazy but if you're not online got everything too plus more for real yeah i'm about to grab me something let's to go. stack up real quick because y'all know all right i got another one so what about the first time you ever talked to a girl that had a girlfriend too toxic <laughs> <laughs> all right now i got different That's hold on i did though okay I let's talk about that okay because i feel like we all didn't did that yeah and look. you knew, like, you knew, right, that she had a girlfriend or you didn't know? Uh, I didn't know at first. When I said at first, like, the first day. And then, yeah. like, after that, like, she would try to kick it around me. And I'd be, like, with the shits. But it was just, like, some flirting shit. Yeah. It wasn't really nothing. I don't know. I'm not really, like. But it was somebody. I, like, barely remember. But I remember <laughs> her girl, like, did not want her around me. Of course. Yeah, but. <laughs> Bitch, do you I'm see me? How can blood, she not? not relation. <laughs> nah, but I I was never one. I don't even want that fucking drama. But we know who did. So you always been like that, like motherfucker got a girl. You on? Well, yeah. you, you was never on. No, I'm gonna take your bitch type of shit. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't because for real, like, bro, I, especially like in my town, like who fucking with me and what I look like. <laughs> Very popular shit. Yeah, like I'm not about to do this, bitch. <laughs> yeah. But you, cause you was cool being a sneaky link. Yeah, I used to be. See, I, um, I'm never about to be second. I don't know. It's a problem. I used thing. to be a very good sneaky <laughs> link. Like, text me cold words, then I'll text you back. You know, I'll what was the cold words? Up. I don't remember. You know, maybe be, might be emoji. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, I used to be a really good um, sneaky. So, link. what was the first one? So. I just used to be like very like chaotic in my life, y'all. I used to be very toxic, like just you know. They know. I definitely was on some I take your bitch type of shit, you know. But I also come from a place where it is limited, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, damn, but I want you. But I got yeah. a girl. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You got a girl because I and want then these you. And these be entertaining you too. And though. they be entertaining it too. And that's the part where I had to get that shit out my head. Like this bitch is just playing with you yeah. like kind of like trying to keep me as like an option yeah just in case they break up because maybe they wasn't on the best terms you know what i'm saying yeah. so it's like i'll just sneak off here with you but yeah um my first one and you know i'm trying to think that i know she had a girlfriend let's start there all right i knew she had a girlfriend <laughs> You did not have to think that. You get on my nerves. You get on my nerves, y'all. Hey, I knew she had a girlfriend, but look, y'all, she kept telling me, like, they about to break up. I hate that when somebody <laughs> talk to you to shit on the person they with. It's like, and yo, but you still giving. with them. It was giving, look at my new bitch, look at da da da, da. And then the old girl was like, bitch, we still live together. I'm in your That's kids' life. That's too messy for me. And she had kids? She had a kid, you know. You was trying to be step-happy, boy. I was trying to show her a better life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me upgrade you. I could be a step stud too. Do not say be these hoes. I could be a daddy, but you, what you want me to do? So you were, to out, park? you were trying to out-dad the other Bats. stud? Yeah, I had to get that out my head, like, trying to outdo Buying, uh, people. Buying a... Uh, school clothes and shit. Oh, I ain't go that far. Oh, That's you, bitch. All right, all right, yeah, I ain't do sorry. Daycare. All right, not too much, shit. not too much, not too much. I ain't never go that far. It was given. I see you and I see ya. We have dated people with kids, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> she learned so much. We got, we got an audience. We got, today. We got straight audience. Yeah, we got they, audience today. They're blown She's away. Like, so y'all get waxes? See, I thought studs like kids. bushes. Like <laughs> y'all use tampons? <laughs> yes, yes. You didn't know you were gay at one? Like no. what, bitch? <laughs> sorry, ah. let me call you a bitch. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, crying. Nice. Yo, nice, no, buddy. <laughs> what you got? So. Damn, bro. Yeah, but I had, I had to get rid of that shit because you know the last time I did that was actually when I moved to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And you know, moving to Atlanta was fun for me, y'all, because. Like I just told y'all, it was limited Ooh. girls in Ohio where I'm from, but in Atlanta, it's just, it's girls everywhere. And I'm talking about they different. They 
they ain't even just like no shade but like where i'm from everybody you know black so like seeing like foreign chicks and mixed girls and they got a little accent they from new york they from here and there like it was a turn on and i was out here but a lot toxic. of them had would have either situations or be with somebody it's hardly it's very rare right like you wasn't just with them yesterday yeah. on a date now you got me looking crazy because i'm not at, we just starting to talk so i'm not asking you are you talking to anybody? Like, I don't care, but now it's, it's deeper than what it really is. Now yeah. somebody see us together. Now you got beef with me. I don't even know you. I'm new out here. It's getting messy. Shit. And that's why I had to cut it off. Cause I'm like, bro, you new to the town. You don't know who knows who, who's connected to who. So you don't want to come down here starting bad blood. Cause I ain't come here for that. You know what I'm saying? So after a while, cause one time the bitch came <laughs> to the girl house while I was there and I was like, hey, yo, it's too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, wait a minute, she at the door. <laughs> Can I get out? Oh, like, we're on the fourth floor. It. I was stuck in this bitch. You know. See, that's awkward. I don't never so want to be, be like, in yeah, that that's situation. Too, yeah, that bro. was too much. That was the last one. I was not, like, yeah, nah. not even on no bitch shit, but like, I don't even got beef with you. I yeah. don't even know what's going on for and, real. And nowadays, niggas getting killed like that. Yes, like for really real, killed like that. And so. bitch. I, R.I.P. Trouble, it. Then, ain't that what happened with Trouble that too? Is, like, yeah. it, it, it ain't worth it, y'all. So. I'm not, yo. If I'm going to your house, back in the day, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask. Like, yeah, I'm pulling up or whatever. But like, of course, I'm married. But I'm saying like now, if I was yeah, yeah. to do that, like, do you live with somebody? Like, what's going? Is somebody going? <laughs> Who all pull over up? there? <laughs> is somebody going to pull up? Yeah. Like, cause she I don't get care real what you, nowadays. Man. I don't care what you got going on, but like, ain't no weird shit gonna happen, yeah, right? Because shit get weird. Don't Boy. talk to people with girlfriends, y'all. And don't be going for their bullshit. About to break I'm up my ass. Out. Wait till they're 110,000% single. About to? Like, bitch, no. it ain't nothing. Break up. Because then when they go back to their ex, you're going to be even more salty. <laughs> oh, you're going to be tired. And I went through that as well, like, trying to be there. Like, I think I'm the next runner up. Like, all right, y'all breaking up in two weeks, right? All right, then you're going to talk to me all the way? No, don't do that. I was on a waiting list, bitch. You was I like was on lay away. <laughs> She ain't never pay you off. I was like, this is almost my turn. <laughs> never got the full turn. Layaway expired and shit. Yo, it's bitch. crazy. Late, late fees Damn, and Damn, that's crazy. All right, well, talking about, like, being at bitches' houses and shit, when was the first time you moved in with somebody? Your first girl you moved in with? I never moved in with nobody. They I moved always moved with my bitches in. I. Cause I'm a fucking boss and I've been a fucking boss. You feel me? I had my first apartment when I was 19. You feel me? I had my first car when I was 16. That's what I told y'all. These niggas couldn't do shit for me. Cause I already was pushing my own fucking weight. I was selling weed and some more shit. What are the niggas gonna do for me? I got money. I got a car. I got an apartment. I got freedom because my parents and shit, they was, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where they was at, but I was doing my own thing. You feel me? First of all, there's some trauma in, in this. I don't know where my people was at. They, was, they thought I was there. You good. You got it. Yeah, I did. Where was you know what Nana? Saying? But I was outside. Where was Nanny? Nanny? Oh, Nanny. As long as I come home, she wasn't worried either. <laughs> shit, I've been outside. So, Nanny yeah, like... I never moved in with no, as in the beginning. All right, the first time. All right, so look. All right, first time you lived with somebody. First time I lived with somebody was when I was 19, for sure. And I moved her in with me. Just trying to be on some, like. She was going through a lot type shit. Like, oh, you a real like, one. Yeah, she was going through a lot. So I was like, come on, move in. I only think she's paying on bills at first. It was giving very much so. I'm taking care of you. Yeah. But then I did move in with a person <laughs> in Atlanta. Yeah. It was the first time I ever moved in with a girl. And what I would say about that is, <laughs> you know, motherfucker gotta know one thing I know about Georgia, okay? You can't just put somebody out your crib, all right? Ain't no calling the police, all right? So I've been on both sides where I wanted somebody to get the fuck out of where I put them in, and the police was like, I can't do nothing for you. You gotta go down to the court. You gotta file eviction papers, because they technically live there, whether they're on the lease or not. she wanted you out and you wouldn't leave? Yeah. <laughs> fuck. Because I was paying them bills. Oh, yeah, I think I remember So I was like, I'll never get in this position again mm -hmm. where a motherfucker nigga just put me out their house when they, mm -hmm. when we done. Like, after I've been paying bills up in this motherfucker? Yeah. And I'm actually paying the whole rent. Yeah. Sometimes, you feel me? So like, what you mean you want me to get out? I took my time. Mm -hmm. I got out, but I took my time, bitch. I was talking to new bitch. Sleeping in, in the same room? We At was, night. but sometimes she wouldn't even come home. Mm. We just going through like a breakup and shit. But yeah, she was like, yeah, I want to break up. You got to move out. I'll give you some time to find you a spot. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I would never be in that position again where yeah. somebody tell me, I'm going to give you some time. To, bitch. Yeah. Do you know who you are? She ain't know who I was. <laughs> I knew who I was. Why she had me fucked up? <laughs> Fuck you, mean you won't give me two months. I took three. 
All right, bitch. Just to it's put not, your foot you don't down. come home, bitch. This is my apartment. I'm okay. paying rent in this bitch anyway. Nah, I don't want to be with somebody and they not come home. That that's still that it. shit fucked with my yeah, head. Yeah, fuck that. Cause I'm thinking. And even though we wasn't together, it still was just you like, cared about them. Not even that. It's like, bitch, bitch you what you doing? <laughs> yeah. Who you with? You started your mind playing. Bitch, you think she upside you, you know down on the hands? I was thinking she wasn't coming home, y'all. You not just <laughs> Netflix and chilling. No, you is doing something nasty. Yeah. You ain't never do with me. That's what my how my head. <laughs> You enjoying your night. You you cuddled up. I'm over here in the house yeah. washing fucking dishes. Just thinking you about to walk in. I don't care. I don't want to spend time with you, but I just want to know that you're going to be in the house. For real, because I'm here. Yeah, bitch. And I wasn't doing that shit. Look, I ain't had nowhere to... Dishes. I'm like, should I go to my mama's house? Definitely don't want to do that. Oh, uh, nah. Yeah, I was in that bitch going through it. Yeah. Never again. Yeah, my first time was in college. And... um. And I, I talked about this before, so I'll keep it brief, but like- The pots and pans. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> so the, the crazy thing about college is like, when you rent a house through like, the college I was at, it was through semesters. So like, we rented it for the whole sem the whole college year. Um, and we lived together for like, two to, th we lived together for like two to three years, but the last, the last semester we broke up. But it's not like I could kick her out or she could kick me out because we're both on the lease and it's up for that semester. Like, where am I going to go? I'm a broke-ass college student. Right. So we were broken up but still um, lived together. And that was horrible because she wouldn't come home. And I'd be like, feeling, right? yeah, and I still wanted to be with her. It just We just was clashing. Yeah. So that was, that was crazy. But I would say, yeah, college and... I do wish that, like, being young like that, and I want to tell everybody this, like, yes, this is the love of your life. You feel like you're around them every day. But those years from, like, 18, of course, you ain't going to be in college at 25, but those years, <laughs> you, might be. you might be, in no shade. But, like, those years, don't live with them because, like, then you start only being with them all day, every day. And I, well, me personally. And then I stopped kicking it with all my other friends and shit, where at least if y'all live separately or in different dorms or whatever, y'all can kick it, but also have time apart, be with your other friends. It's so easy just to be cooped up with your girl and like Getting X out the world. Boy. And then when y'all- Get back together. Bruh. And that's then, that relationship way. That's bruh. when that relationship way <laughs> Bitch, just eating. And then when y'all break up now, like you kind of feel lost. I lost did, in the sauce. yeah, because I'm like, damn, all my friends I was kicking them with. And it'd be embarrassing too. You try to hang out. And then they, they, what they say to you? Oh no, you back outside. You and your girl must be going through it. Yup. Can you be knowing when your one friend come back around like, oh, you and your girl, because you don't never come out. I'll be like, can I, can I hang with y'all? Yeah, shout out my friends that still welcome yeah. me back, because i definitely been in that Kia, same position. Kia, Danielle, Cammy, I appreciate y'all, yeah. I love y'all. Because at the, cause, cause I, I still love them, they knew I loved them, but like there was like jealousy issue. Like the girl I was dating thought, you know, this is young, yeah. where like when you're a stud, your girl think any femme you're with likes you. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of cut my friends off just because like, I didn't want my girl to be mad, even yeah. though it was nothing like that. But the crazy thing is when my girl, when my ex and her little boo thing jumped me, I went to my friends and they rolled up with me. Period. That's some real yeah. friends should. Yeah, Not my nigga got jumped, man. Yeah. I I'm just picturing this shit, man. I don't want to say jump like that. Like I wasn't in no ball and then the girl just came, punched me in my face and then my ex had a pen and I was like, I'm gonna lose that this one. Let me just back. Let me just back up out this house. And I went to my friend's house down the block. Like, yo, I gotta get my shit. And they came with me. And then like three hours later, my sisters pulled up. And mind you, my sisters live three hours from Pittsburgh. Yeah. So my sisters pulled up. Period. Yes. Period. Yes. yes. Don't play with it. Don't play with yeah, it. Yeah. So for it. real, like when you young, even though we always think like, yeah, I want to be around my girl all the time. I want to save money. I want to do this, y'all. Take yeah. your time with it because. It's good when it's good and it's bad when it's bad and then you ain't got nowhere to go. You breaking leases, you you fucking your credit up. Okay. <laughs> y'all want that eviction. Cause y'all ain't I got the evictions. money for all that. You don't. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. I used to be like that, like so clingy, bruh, but ain't nothing better than like being able to have fun with your girl and without your girl to where like you got trust in your girl. Yes. Like if she out with her friends, you're not like, what you doing, who you with? Like that's the best feeling. Like yeah. y'all can enjoy y'all time together and apart, bro. Yeah, facts. That's some grown shit right there. Facts. Do I got any good ones? Okay, come on, clap it up. So next one we gonna talk about the first time 
you ever met somebody's parents? Mm. Awesome. <laughs> they telling, like, this my girlfriend. Like, yeah. they actually saying that. Like, yeah. they're not saying this my friend no more. Yeah. They like, this my girlfriend. Yeah. Um, that'd be my girlfriend in high school. The crazy thing is, y'all, all my relationships at least was like three years. It's crazy. High school, three years? What, bitch? Yeah, you, you, you faithful. You yeah, you was not dude. grown. I wish I didn't do it that long, because like I said, like, I lost out on a lot of friendships and shit, because yeah. I was just so... Caught up in yeah. love. But anyway, she was Liberian. Come on! Yes, yes. Foreign! <laughs> <laughs> she was Liberian, so you know, sometimes with like, Liberian, Jamaican, Spain. I mean, I just feel like all these cultures, the parents, it's, it's scary. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. um, her dad wasn't in her life. It was just her mom. But when, but she was, what I fuck with with her, she kept it real. Like, she was a solid motherfucker. Like, she, she wouldn't deny me or hide me, which yeah. was dope at 16, 17. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so she, she her, Parent, her mom lived in uh, Rhode Island, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, we was at boarding school, whatever. And then one time, uh, I guess her mom came down or something, whatever. But she introduced me to her mom. I was nervous or whatever. But How then, you doing? <laughs> I'm Excel. I mean, Tiffany. <laughs> Excel. First of all, you go my nerves. Oh, so, but the crazy thing is, I think I said this before, is that come to find, all right, so like, with my boarding school, we would go home for the summer or like Thanksgiving, Christmas, big, big holidays, right? Yeah. So you, um, I went home with her on one of the holidays, mm -hmm. right? But her mom already knew I was her girlfriend. Come to find out, her auntie that lived with her and her mom, or lived with her mom, ended up being her mom's girlfriend. Mm. So she ain't know that the whole time she was in oh, boarding school. Oh, she didn't school. know that the whole time. No, but the thing is, she was in boarding school since like elementary school. So like, yeah. like she's only going home on, on like big holidays and shit. So it's yeah. easy for her mom just to have a whole other type of life. <laughs> so her find, so she found out her mom was gay while bringing me around. That's crazy. It's crazy. You helped her come out. Yeah. Yeah, the Liberians, like it too. Yeah. You just never know. Everybody yeah. loves gay. You just never know who gay. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You just never know. But yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. It was cool as fuck though, cause yeah. like usually you are like I've been in situations after that that like the parent hates you. You yeah. could be the great. You could be treating her way better than a guy would ever treat her, and her mom's just mad she with you. I'm like, yo, you stupid. Cause then when she leave me and stuck with a motherfucker that won't pay child support, don't Ooh. come to me. And I won't pay the child support. You pray for that, right? You pray for that? Okay. I'll let you have it. Oh, he hit her? You pray for that. You pray for a man, mom, right? Okay, sorry. That got personal. It would All right, my bad, my bad, my bad. What about you? It's your fault, mom. Yeah. This is what you want your daughter with? Okay, All right. Say less. Yeah. Heard. Heard and understood. <laughs> okay. So the first time I met somebody I was dating parents was definitely probably the first girl that I ever liked really dated mm -hmm. and I was so scared bro because it's the girl you moved in nah okay. no this is before this came oh. the Kings Island days <laughs> Kings Island was the we gayest time of my life when I go to Ohio with you next I time I used to work at Cinnabon you. and Skyline Chili <laughs> and That's roses so yeah and I was like a manager too I worked oh, the ice cream zone too if you know you know I worked the area out there, man. I was making that money, though. I'll tell you that. I think my bridge, she gonna hustle some shit. Hey, I was making that bridge, you heard? But, uh, yeah, so I was scared because she told me, like, I just recently told her that I'm gay. And I was like, well, how did she take it? She was like, she didn't like it, mm -hmm. right? So I'm knowing all this, going into it, like, I don't want to meet her because she already don't like the fact that you gay. Yeah. So why the fuck with... Let that sit with her for you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So I was scared as shit. Like, yeah. but I had to meet her because I kept picking her up. Mm. And she was like, she keep asking who I'm going with. She wanna make sure I'm okay. Cause mind you, we like, we like 15, 16. Yeah, I was you're not even being a gentleman. Yeah, I was just pulling up. Hey, come on, bitch. I wouldn't stop in the car. Hurry up. For your mama come hop in, bitch. <laughs> I don't want to see nobody. Come the on. Car, the car moving slow. Yeah, hop in, bitch. Let's go. I 10 by 10. I don't fucking So weak. I'm like, all right, you know, because that is respect, you know, and mm -hmm. I, I don't want her to feel like, you know, I'm trying to not be respectful. So I was shitting bricks. And and not for nothing, she definitely hit me with the, also, this your little friend? 
the little friend. I was her girlfriend at the time, but she definitely was like, oh, so you her little friend that she been telling me about. And what you said? Yes, I, I am, like, ma'am. I definitely hit her with the yes, ma'am. That's that's to me. But I could never tell like the vibe because it was just always quick interactions. Yeah. But like I know her mom dealt with like accepting her for a very long time. Mm -hmm. So I was like, hey, I don't want to meet her again. Y'all figure that out. Mm. I'm in the car. She know my car now. What more do we got to do? Yeah. <laughs> she know me. <laughs> You're in good hands, right? Barely. If she wanted to know me more, she took me out to lunch, dinner. Okay, period. Or you should have took her. Oh, to 16 make on the block. <laughs> you was eating. You got money. Cinnabon. The block, 16. You should have brought her mom. You should have brought her mom some Cinnabon. Like, you got to do thinking, stuff man. like that. You a gentleman, man. I should have bought her a box of Cinnabon. Yeah, because one thing she ain't on like she don't like gay, but she likes Cinnabons. And everybody, <laughs> so she can buy. I guess she all right. So and then next time did you bring me some sweet. Next time sweet you ass. pull up. Brick got any more cinnamon? Right, and we could have built off of that, right? Damn, Fuck bitch. that. It was, it was, it was what it was anyway. You're such a hood motherfucker. Look, hurry up. Car banging. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 you had one of those houses that probably ain't even I sound did. good though. They should probably it knock was it. All knocking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got the this. bass turned up in the trouble. <laughs> 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 Couldn't hear nothing. I had Just, a little TV in my shit. <laughs> Oh my god! I used to have these little porn videos. Look, oh, I <laughs> that's the first time I ever seen somebody squirt. I used to pull up on everybody, be like, watch this video, y'all. Oh, hey, ask anybody, bro. I used to pull up. So y'all know the real reason she crashed, right? That's all no, I'm saying. No, my grandma's car. This is my car. Oh, all right. If my all personal right. car had a TV. Oh yeah, it would be crazy if your grandma's yeah, car. <laughs> Whoa. Not too much, Nanny. What's her name? Nanny. Thank you. Nanny, my part. Nanny. That's my nanny. <laughs> And no, not like a maid. People okay. just say that like, you got a maid? No, it's a grandma. It's a grandma. <laughs> nanny like, nah, nah, nanny. Nah, nah. Or nana. Nana. Or grandma. She's yeah. a young grandma, so maybe that's why she wanted a nickname. Exactly. <laughs> if I had I grandkids. Be, I wouldn't, don't call me grandma, call me nah, something cute. Nah, call me Excel. G-Ma. <laughs> yeah, G-Ma. I'm like, yo, what's up? <laughs> Tell your little young ass, little grandkid. Yeah. Chill, You got chill. some money? <laughs> ah, nah, get him up out of here, get him up out of here. Yo, I'm weak. But okay. now, I feel like later on, we could do a part two of yeah, facts. our first, because there's a lot of things we could um talk about, but yeah. this was dope. I feel like I learned a little bit about you. Come on, we on a date? Yeah. This is a cute day. You had hooked yeah. up with me and everything. We had Reposado. <laughs> We did not have rep. Oh, it is. Yes, we did. We had De Leon, okay. bitch. <laughs> and comment some of y'all first time too, so we can like elaborate, you know, and tell our story if y'all got some ideas for us, y'all. Yeah. yeah okay. Fun. Well. Salud. Like, subscribe, and comment. Y'all listen to Homo Show. Let's go. Whole lot of gay shit. Whole lot of gay. Gay, 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 gay. gay. I like that. Hey. Fuck me. Boss Brit. We certified. And DJ Excel.